I was actually hoping I was going to film this with the Canon EOS R7 that I pre-ordered two months ago by now, but unfortunately I don't have it in my hands. Canon had not been able to ship out any cameras lately, except for the few ones that they shipped out in the beginning, and that's almost a month ago, one and a half months, months ago. And I haven't received mine yet. Um, it's been so long now that I am actually thinking about not getting the EOS R7. Maybe getting the EOS R6 instead. Who knows? So it's uh, day two of me changing these floorboards. And today the weather is a lot better than it was yesterday. Uh, actually, yesterday I kind of just gave up. I didn't want to stand in the rain. So I went inside and did other stuff instead. But today the weather is... at least it's not raining. So today I'm going to finish this. But I just wanted to talk about why I'm considering buying a Canon camera when it's just about a year ago yeah, it's about a year ago since I transitioned from Canon to Sony. First of all, I just gotta say, I love the Sony cameras. I love my Sony a7S III. I love that it shoots ProRes RAW through the Atomos Ninja 5. Uh, I love the quality of the image that comes out of the Sony cameras. I really like my Sony a7 IV that I'm shooting on right now. I love the lenses that you can get for these cameras. There's so many more lens options with the Sony cameras than there is with the RF mount on the Canon cameras. I really like the quality of the images coming out of these two Sony cameras that I have right now. But I still miss my Canon EOS R that I had before I went over to Sony. I miss the body of the Canon cameras. I even though the Sony a7S III and the Sony a7 IV have a lot better grip than the Sony a7 III had, there has been an improvement to the Sony body. Canon bodies are still better to hold. They are more ergonomically developed to fit your hand, in my opinion. So that's one thing. Another thing is I really miss the Canon menu. The Sony a7S III and the Sony a7 IV has Sony's new menu system. It is an improvement from the older menu system, but I still think Canon has a better menu system overall. The third thing is that the LCD screen on the Canon cameras is so much better than on the Sony cameras. You have a fully articulated fully touch screen on the Canon cameras and on the Sony camera you have a touch screen but you can't change settings by just sliding your finger over the screen. You need to push buttons on the Sony cameras to be able to change any kind of settings. And just having a fully articulated, fully touch screen on the Canon cameras, it is better in my opinion. Number four is that I really miss Canon colors overall. My Canon EOS R, that was an 8-bit 420 camera, but even though it was an 8-bit 420 camera, I really enjoyed the colors that came out of it straight out of the camera. Now, if you shoot photographs, you can shoot raw and you can manipulate photographs or the photos coming out of the Sony and coming out of the Canons to look pretty much the same. But when it comes to video, like the video I'm shooting right now, now I'm shooting on my Sony a7 IV, I'm shooting in 8-bit 420, and I don't have any picture profile added to this image. Just to make my editing process much easier, I don't have to color grade anything. And of course, if I shoot anything professionally, like doing commercials or yeah, client work, I will shoot in 10-bit 422, so I am able to color grade the footage. But for this thing that I'm doing right now, for this YouTube channel, and filming YouTube videos, I usually only use 8-bit 420. 
and I do think that the image coming out of the Canon cameras look tiny slightly bit better it might just be because um I started out with Canon cameras that was the look that I was used to but in my opinion the Canon colors straight out of the camera look just slightly better than on the Sony cameras even though the Sony cameras look great I miss the Canon colors so that's probably why I am thinking about getting an R7 I'm not just thinking about it I have pre-ordered it so I really really hope it comes soon I think this is just tragic releasing a camera two months ago and not being able to send out or ship out almost any of them yeah I'm just and that's why I have been thinking about getting an R6 instead. I just am tired of waiting for the Sony A7. Yeah, I'm so used to saying Sony. I'm so tired of waiting for the Canon A. I'm so tired of waiting for the Canon R7 that I am thinking about possibly getting a Canon R6 instead because that is in stock in most places. So but I haven't been able to pull the trigger on the Canon R6 either because I started out with the Canon M6 Mark II which is a crop sensor camera and I have cropped sensor lenses still for that camera That's, that was my first camera I am not going to sell it it has a sentimental value for me and I'm going to keep it to the day I die probably and I still have lenses that I can use with that camera I have my Sigma 18-35 to which is an EF crop sensor lens. I have my Canon 10 to 18 millimeter EFS lens. I have. Yeah, that's probably the two I have left. I have those two lenses. And if I get the Canon EOS R6, I'm still able to use those lenses with the adapter, but it will crop in on an already small sensor because the sensor on the R6 is only 20 something megapixels. If I am using crop sensor lenses on the R6, it will be a downgrade in the image quality. But if I get the Canon R7, which is a 32 megapixel sensor, crop sensor camera, I can use the crop sensor lenses that I already have without having any downgrade in the image quality. And when it comes to size, the R7 is almost as big as the Canon R6, so... And that's what I'm missing with my Canon EOS R, the grip, the body, the, 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 way that, 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 the way that that camera felt in my hand. So I think that I will be happy with the Canon R7, because I'm still going to keep my Sony cameras. I just want that camera body from the Canon cameras. Hoping the R7 is going to come soon. If not, I might be buying the R6 instead. Who knows? Anyway, I need to get back to this. Changing the floorboards, as you can see, I am done with more than half of the floors. I just have base left. And over here is going to be on the last bit here. I need to cut out for these poles so the last board is going to be more work with than uh, the ones that I already have been laying down but yeah anywho it's vacation time I haven't done any videos in quite a while because when we are <laughs> when we were on vacation in Sweden I had I brought all my cameras and drone and all that but Having the family around, all the kids, there was just not time to make any videos. And either way, it was a vacation. I wanted to relax. So as best as I could with all the kids around. Anyway, that's just me rambling. I hope the second batch of R7s is going to get released soon. And I will be making videos about the R7, even though now I'm late to the game, there is already 10,000 videos of the R7 on the YouTube and uh, probably 
going to drown in everything but still I want to play with that camera I want to check out how the C-Log3 works out how the image stabilization is in that camera um, yeah that's it for this video hope you found it interesting if you did please hit that like button down below subscribe and everything like that and maybe I will see you in another video bye